What's up, guys? You're welcome back. We've got a lot of good news, a lot of entertaining news for you. Let us start with Odugu himself. Let us start with Bonaboy, the giant of Africa. Bonaboy told us is the giant of Africa. So many netizens were attacking him. But truly, Bonaboy has proved that he is indeed the giant of Africa. For a desk of BET, Black Entertainment Television, and this was tagged hashtag where black culture lives that Bonaboy took home the hardware for Best International Act at the BET Awards and he just made history as the first African to perform in a US stadium. The African giant is taking over and we are so happy to witness all of his success because and congratulations to at Bonaboy Grand. Bonaboy just makes History as the first African to sell out a U.S. stadium. Bonaboy is the Odogu himself. He's a giant of Africa. We know so many David fans will be criticizing him. David have been doing very well, no doubt about, about that. So many uh, Whiskey fans to be criticizing Bonaboy. Whiskey has been selling out arenas too. But man, Bonaboy has been living up to his name as the giant of Africa. Don't you think so? For all those that are in support of Bonaboy being the giant of Africa, all those, all those that are, have been criticizing him being the giant of Africa, Feel free to drop the comments on the comment section. Now let us move on to uh, the United States of America. Let us talk about YouTube because this channel is YouTube. This is basically a YouTube channel. We have one of the best YouTubers on planet Earth. He's the biggest when it comes to the number of followers. I mean, he's been cashing out on YouTube, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast makes 200,000 US dollars a day. Mind you, a day, not a month, not a year, a day from his YouTube channel. Isn't that wonderful? That it will take the average American 100 years to earn what Mr. Beast makes in a month. Like, seriously, that is huge. That is now. Huge. Let us see in the United States of America. Let's talk about movies. We have so many movies that have been trending in the year 2023. By the way, which is your favorite right? for all the movies we've seen so far, especially for all the action movie lovers out there, which is your favorite right? be it sci fi, be it action, be it drama, which is your favorite. Right? We have so many movies, I can't list all of them. But which is your favorite? Please don't forget to drop a comment on the comment section. Let's analyze together. Well, we got this movie that just dropped Tom Cruise Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. By the way, have you seen it? Because we know this movie is showing only in cinemas right now. For a desk of critic OFB, ORB, critic underscore ORB, rather, they did a critical analysis of the movie Dead Reckoning by Tom Cruise. They said just a year after the success of Top Gun Maverick, Tom Cruise wastes no time to return with another exciting spectacle. This is a blockbuster that delivers audacious practical filmmaking at its finest. From the start, it dives into great action and maintains good pace throughout its nearly three-hour runtime. The plot introduces new stakes and threats, while subtly providing refresh, refresher details to welcome new commas on board this espionage world. The movie excels in its grand scale and epic action delivery, leaving viewers wanting more. Haley Atwell, known for her role as Captain America's darling, proved to be a welcome addition to the franchise, forming an interesting pair with Tom. I like the brilliant directing choices that C. Mark query took to construct all the fun and creative set pieces. The score and sound editing of this film are very good. It's commendable that the crew started filming during the challenging pandemic era in 2020, facing hurdles along the way, and still managed to deliver such an impressive final product. The signature stunt action, which this franchise is known for, is present as seen in thrillers already, but somewhat not enough compared to most of its predecessors, which shine most in its in this aspect. The hand-to-hand -hand combat is weak in contrast to the great kinetic action and wild chases. Gabriel Villian. Gabriel, rather, the villain isn't allowed to fully prove himself to be as formidable and dangerous as the high stakes demand, even with the lengthy runtime. 
the whole thing drifts more like a, a James Bond on on steroids, spy action with elements of high robots and the matrix re reloaded. Not that this is bad, just that I would have preferred a more traditional MI film. Nevertheless, the overall attempt comes together beautifully even if the twist isn't much and, and tension not as palpable as I expected. This installment still reinforces the franchise as a force to reckon with effective enough to make us anticipate its sequel. Another major win for Tom Cruise, MVP of Action Genre, who will smile to the bank once again. So according to Critic ORB's rating, the movie is excellent with a rating of 79%. By the way, for those that have seen this movie, how would you rate it? Because from uh, Critical Abbey, he has rated the movie as 79%. Well, we'll be expecting the sequel, and we know Tom Cruise has been doing very well. He has been doing very well. I mean, the stunts he pulled out in this movie, or in this franchise, the uh, Mission Impossible franchise, they are like alarming. Tom Cruise loves going the extra miles just to make his viewers smile. Or, yeah, to, to give them the value for their money. That is Tom Cruise style. Big ups and congratulations to Tom Cruise. Now, let us come back home to our beloved country, Nigeria. So much has been happening in the country. So much has been happening in the country. Remember, recently, um, the uh, the president, President Bola Metetinibu, he has not spent up to two months in office. Today is the 16th of July, 2023. And he... Uh, as an office of the 29th of May 2023. Now, I mean, he has been collecting loans. He has been collecting loans. So, netizens have been saying, yeah, that's the best decision that he's been doing well. So, people have not been flowing with his style of leadership. Recently, he collected billions of, um, uh, billions of Naira from the, uh, from the World Bank. And he says he wants to cushion the effects of first subsidy removal. Someone dropped this message, uh, I found it quite fascinating, let me share it with you, that 500 billion Naira will purchase approximately 8,000 of these 60 sitter buses, as you can see from the picture. Now, instead of giving 8,000 Naira to 12 million poor families, why not distribute these buses across the country to ease the cost of transportation first? That will also be creating jobs in the process. According to the analysis, the, the, the person made that, that that will be 216 buses for each state and the federal capital territory. That is to be employed like 16,000 drivers and 16,000 support drivers and 100,000 of man officers with 100 or, or, or 100 or hundreds rather, hundreds of man officers with 1,000 of admin, admin assistants. What of thousands of mechanics and engineers that will suddenly have hope? What of spare parts to say? What of the tens of thousands of snack and food sellers around the bus stations and garages on the route of these buses across the country? Do you know how many more thousands of employees that will be recruited from our graduate pool if Innocent Motors is giving the order to produce 8,000 buses within a given time frame? Fact is, we have the solution to ease that country of hard trouble. But some people are not just ready to serve the people. Do you, by the way, do you agree with these suggestions? I mean, so many persons will be employed rather than giving 8,000 naira, I mean, to about 12 million uh, households. Like, what can 8,000 naira do for you right now? Well, some people, as I said, they have been flowing that this is the best decision they've made. Someone even dropped a comment that uh, 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 no president has ever done this, giving people money. Like, seriously, 8,000 naira. What is better? Is it better to employ you? Or just to give you money. Well, we know Nigeria is a funny country. Some people will not. I know of so many people who wouldn't even want to work. What they want is free money. Just give me money. Keep giving me money. If you give them a job, even if you give them a job that will pay them like five million naira a month, they will prefer you giving them two hundred thousand naira every month rather than working. People are are like that anyway. So no matter what you say. Nigeria still remains Nigeria. Some people will flow with you, some people will not flow with you. We're talking about this from the desk of Mr. Charles. He dropped this message that 
no matter what this government does for the good of the people, there are a set of people who will always find reasons to unjustly criticize. Hmm. Well, we, if we have heard it. Do you really think what the government is doing will take us to the next level? Because Nigerians are sick and tired to being sick and tired here. People are just complaining, seize this for subsidy removal. But if you complain, some people are saying no, that you should calm down for how long? How long are we going to calm down? So people are even comparing this present administration to the past one that just left that they don't see any difference. By the way, do you see any difference between this present administration and the one that just left? You should remember that they are all still the same political party, APC. Is APC taking us to greater heights? Well, the comment section is open for you to drop your wonderful comment. See, talking about the drama Nigeria is having facing, we got this news that single Nigerian men are not allowed in Maldives anymore. That they claim Nigerian men are impregnating their women. <laughs> now, wow, Kenyan police arresting Nigerian men for nothing. Their wife's claim is because they are married to Kenyan women and they spoil them. Nigerian men, stop using your bola to block other people's visa. So, Nigerian men, hmm, take note. We have heard a lot. We know Seychelles have also placed a visa ban on Nigerians who with Nigerian passport. According to them, they say Nigerians do drugs and so many terrible things. Internet fraud. I dropped that in my last video. Please check it out. Really want something that will take us to the next level because we are sick and tired. I think the only people that have been giving advice to this country are the entertainers. Big and congratulations to all the entertainers, the Udogus, the individuals, the whiskey, the star, they'll be doing very well. Big and congratulations to them, they'll be really polishing our image on the world map. Thank you guys for watching this wonderful channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so as to stay uploaded all the trends. See you soon.